Okay, welcome back to Space Arena, the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 10 Level Setup. So as we have the game right now, basically what's going to happen is we create our player, our missile, and our enemies here, and our power-ups here. And that works okay for the beginning, but what's going to happen is later when we want to go to level 2, or go to level 3, go to level 4, there's going to be no easy way to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, most of this stuff here. I'm going to definitely take this part, uh, and I'm going to move it up into the game class. Okay, so watch what I do here. So I'm going to go up to the game class, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new method, and I'm going to call it start level. And of course, because this is an object, I've got to put self. So the first thing I want to do at this point, so when we're starting a level, I want to clear the sprites list. Okay, so what that does is it just basically takes all the sprites and deletes all of their, let's say, references to those sprites that are on the list. Sprites, I think, at least the player and the missile will still exist. I'm not 100% sure about the other sprites, but at least they're off our list. So then what I need to do is I need to add the player. So I'm going to go sprites.append player. And I need to add the missile. I'm going to go sprites.append missile. And then what I need to do is to also add the enemies and the power-ups. So just to make it simple for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to is I'm going to add basically one enemy per level, just to keep it simple, and then we can kind of play around with it. Just gonna get the principle down. Okay, so now I need to keep track of the level. So of course the game always starts at level one. Okay, so we'll just say the game's level is one. So watch what I do here. So for underscore in range self.level. So this could have been X, it could have been Y, but since we're not really using it, we're just using it as a placeholder, I'm just gonna put an underscore there. So if it's level two, this will repeat two times. If it's level three, it will repeat three times. Of course, this is level one, it's only going to repeat one time. So what I gotta do is I gotta put some enemies in. Now, I need to give the enemies an X coordinate. And so what I wanna do is randomize where the enemies appear. So I'm going to be using the random module. So I'm going to have to go ahead and, oops, wrong one. I have to go ahead and go all the way up. Let's see, let me clear that out, that's annoying. I have to go all the way up here, and I'm going to have to go ahead and type import, oops, import random. Okay, and the random module gives us quite a few things we can play with. Now, I want the, the enemies to appear somewhere in the game space. Now, if you recall, the game size is controlled by these two values, the game width and the game height. Remember, that is different to the size of the window because our game world is going to be bigger. And we'll, we'll get to you know scrolling and all that stuff later. So what I'm going to do here is negative self, because I'm inside the class itself, self.width divided by 2, and self.width divided by 2. So, so if the width is 1,000, so that's negative 500 to positive 500. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing with y. I'm going to copy that because I don't feel like typing it over again. And you've got to be careful. you got to be careful when you do that. you got to make sure you change all the right stuff. So y. And in this case, it's not going to be width. It's going to be height. And it's going to be height. And a couple other things we need to do is the dx and dy. So I'm going to do basically the same thing, dx equals random dot rand int. And I'm just going to go ahead negative 2 to 2. I might end up changing this a little bit later, but for now let's, let's just keep it consistent to get the idea across. And then what I got to do is sprites dot append, so it's an enemy, parenthesis. And you can see here it's telling me I need an x, y shape and color. So I'm going to go ahead and just put x, y, and the shape will be, I think, square. And we'll make the enemies red for now. 
Okay, and don't forget the second parenthesis because this this parenthesis matches here. This parenthesis matches the append statement. So that gives us that will give us a certain number of enemies. Now one thing here, dx and dy were not part of the constructor. So I can either I can go down to the enemy, or sorry, yeah, I go down to the enemy sprite thingy here, and I could set it up here. Because I don't think it's set up in the sprite class. Let's just check just to make sure. Yeah, because dx and dy are set to zero by default. So what we can do here is a little nice Python thing. So sprites minus one. This will give us the very last sprite that was added. And since it was definitely going to be this, because it's the next line, we can do it like that. I say dx equals dx, and sprites negative one dot dx equals, or sorry, dy equals dy. Okay, and that should do it. So what we need to do down here is I don't need these anymore. But I do need to do a couple things. I need to take the sprites and I'm going to put them. Well, actually, I guess we, we do it like this way. Um, so these things we're not going to use anymore because we're doing that in the game thing. And then I will say set up the level. Set up the level. And what I'll do is I'll say game dot uh, start level. I think I called it level. And that's it. So that should work. So let's go ahead and test that. And we should get one enemy. Okay. And see everything's still working. See if I can shoot it or not. Oops. Well, I did bounce. I did collide with it. That's good. Oops. Our collisions are working still. Okay. And I can shoot it, which is good. All right. Now we need to do the same thing with the power ups. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to go all the way up to here again. And I just want to do the same thing with power ups. Now, for now, we'll just go ahead and add one power up per level just to keep it simple and for testing. And we're going to append a power up, oops, instead of an enemy. And it's going to be a circle, and it's going to be blue. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that, test it. And there is our player, or there's our enemy. I don't see a power up, which is not a good sign. Now it is possible that the power up, yeah, probably what happened was the power up started over here and was just bouncing up and down. Okay, so that, that is a possibility. Um, so now you can see that the power up is working. So let's go ahead and just for fun. Now what's what makes it cool is that I can just go ahead and make the starting level 10 just for fun and go ahead and run that. Oh my gosh, and there are dozens, you know, there's, well, there's 10 enemies and 10 power ups. So you see we probably don't want that many power ups per level. Well, maybe, well, maybe, we'll see how the screen goes. Okay, so we can shoot things and oops, <laughs> it's actually it's fun. Um, yeah, so you can see how everything still works. So we can add an arbitrary number of enemies, an arbitrary number of power-ups whenever we create a level. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back to one. Okay, so stay tuned for next video where we can talk about how to actually, you know, when we destroy enough enemies to get to the next level and all that sort of thing. And we'll go ahead and go from there. Okay, so thanks for watching. Subscribe for updates and keep on coding.